I'm Leslie Bradshaw and I chair uh, Terrington Arts, which is a kind of umbrella organisation for lots of different arts activities in this village and surrounding areas. Um, we've been going uh, since 1997 and we're a registered charity. Um, so we are a, a membership organisation, but all our activities are open to everybody. But the idea of having membership is that basically um, if you are a member you get uh, emails or newsletters to tell you what's going on and invitations to take part in all the things that we do. I'm Anita Barber, I'm the promoter of shows at Terrington Arts, which is linked to the Terrington Village Hall. Um, I've been promoter here for a number of years now. A lot of the shows that we deal with are through Rural Arts on Tour, um, which we're very grateful for. And there's such a, a good diversity of uh, people that they have for the shows. It gives us a good spectrum to choose from. The London Philharmonic Skiffle Orchestra sounded something that we could perform, uh, we could have in the village. And it would brighten up the winter months, so we're really looking forward to this. Uh, this performance is part of the Rural Arts on Tour programme, uh, which runs across most of North Yorkshire. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I'd like to welcome Mike, Martin, Rod, Ron, and Captain Cabbage, the London Philharmonic <laughs> Skipper. We don't believe Elvis is dead. We believe he's alive and well and working in a supermarket in York. Ha ha ha. It's called Honk If You're Elvis. To enjoy the songs of the old radio Well, the king was alive But we all used to jive To the TV to pay his first week of show Well, he was Heartbreak Hotel The night's in the day I can chase the little leaf that he's gone Well, he's Cadillac The pass on my back I find myself singing this song Hoggy Beer Elvis uh -huh. You're driving his gun car uh -huh. The Chevy and Pro The London Philharmonic Skiffle Orchestra are a four-piece music and comedy band. Lots of colour, lots of energy. And we were playing some silly songs, wearing some very silly costumes, saying some very silly things, and hopefully making lots of really good music as well. Uh, we've been doing 12 dates for Rural Arts of North Yorkshire. It went very well, yeah. To be honest, I don't think we've ever had a bad one with a village hall audience. We seem to know what they want, they seem to like what we do. That's worked really well. We have a website, www.lpso.co.uk.
The village hall is always available for other people to rent, uh, to use. We have the big main hall, we have a committee room which is a smaller room. It's not, it's classed as a committee room but it is available for outside people, hire it for parties, fairs, weddings, all manner of different things. Uh, yes, Tonington Arts has a website uh, which is tonetonarts.org. Um, needs a bit up, of updating but we try to, to keep as up to date as possible. And there is a village website um, which is tonetonvillage.co.uk I think. It really enjoyed it. We've been here a few times. Always a great show. Well, they're, they're a wonderful band and uh, a great bunch of characters. I thought it was very good. It was worth every penny and I've really enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs>